Okay everybody, I'm excited because today I just received the LEDs for Jerry's instrument cluster from superbrightleds.com. So these are the UV ones that I've been talking about and uh, the ones that he requested. So uh, let's get them installed, shall we? Alright, so in order to um, get this to be the right color, I first have to remove the green um, filter that's in behind here. Uh, now that can be a little tricky because this is pretty fragile plastic and I have to figure out a way to get it apart without breaking it. So I'm just going to go at it and see what happens. Um, undo those two little clips and I think I'm gonna have to push in here there's one there's two there's three okay got it so you have to undo this clip here Actually, it looks like someone's been here already because there's no green filter. But I can show you what a cluster that hasn't had that filter removed already looks like. This is one of these two. I've had this probably from maybe even from this cluster. I think this came from my 92. This is the filter that would normally be in here making everything green. So it just kind of hangs out right in here and then this piece clips back down on top of it so lucky for us it's already been removed I'm just doing this for in, for demonstration purposes so you guys can see what it would have looked like when I took this apart so just just like that just kind of sitting in there And we don't need that. We don't want it. Because it'll change the color of the LEDs. So I'll put this back together now. Put this one back up. Two, three, and that clip's broken. No big deal. It'll still do what it needs to do. So we're all reinstalled now. So Jerry, if you're wondering why your instrument cluster doesn't have the green filter in it and it was probably shining green before, it's because, remember, I switched the housing. So this housing came from another car. I don't know the history of it, so it appears as though someone's already been in there and has removed the green film, like I just explained. So um, we're ready to install some LEDs. So we've got, not these ones, these ones. These are um, B8.3D, um, bulb style. And those can be found, like I said, on superbrightleds.com um, in a variety of colors. These are UV. I got four so that we have a spare. Now, all of these are polarized. I think that'll focus. All of these are polarized. So if you put them in one way and apply power, then you gotta just switch them around and put them in the other way. Now, um, I actually have a way to test that power. Uh, so I am going to do that. I will take this connector off and make it easier on myself. So the circuit for the lights is, called, is labeled Innenbell, and uh, I'll, I'll post up the translation of that, it's in German, so um, I don't know what that is at the top of my head. 
Um, so let's see if we, is there any indication of plus or minus on this? Well, we can find out. So these are 12 volts. Already got a resistor installed behind here. So let's see how truly UV these actually are. I'm curious. Okay, so I have it reversed. Well, those are pretty, pretty UV. I don't know how, if you guys can see that, but that's definitely UV light coming out of there. It actually kind of hurts my eyes looking at it. So I'm going to stop looking at that. So now we know that uh, this side of this LED is ground, and this side is positive. And based upon the wire that I just traced, this side of the trace is positive. So that means when we need when we install this, we want this leg to be pointing that way. So I'm gonna pop it in here. I'm gonna grab these. That should be the correct orientation. Now I have to do this test again with everyone to identify what is positive and negative. Okay, so I got that hooked up. Right, so this is negative, this is positive, and positive again runs around here, so this in here. Now I'm doing it the scientific way. If you wanted to do this, you could just pop them in there, plug the thing back into your car, turn on your lights, and say, oh, that works, or oh, that doesn't work, and just take it out and flip it around again. But I would, I don't have that luxury. So, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that is going to be positive, and that's going to be negative, and I'm wrong. Positive, negative, yeah, we're good. So I'm going to put this one in behind the clock. Now this one I have to trace again. This is one of those where I think I'm going to have to get out my voltmeter and test to see what's what. What's what. sitting here. I think ground was here. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. So I have to hook up all of these. I'm going to turn off these lights. Hopefully I can see something when this actually turns on. I don't know how uh, reactive this orange paint's going to be. I can see the UV LEDs. They're not the brightest pieces, but I don't. You might be able to see that there. Maybe. Yeah, the clock one is lighting up. Well, Jerry, it might be a little dimmer than you had hoped, but it's done. 
So, I'm going to put this back together. And, uh, call it a day on this. Now, I also have a spare LED for you, and these little guys, which are for little bulb holders that'll go in the back of the gauges. This is an example. Let's test one of these. I can see. So we put the UV LED in there. Light that up. Pop this in here. Twist to lock. And then attach our power cables. Here we go. That actually looks pretty sweet. You can only tell at very certain angles. So Jerry, you're not going to be able to see this until until it's really, really dark outside. Um, I've got sunlight coming in here above me. So maybe that affects how bright it is for me. But, yeah, for you, living in California, it's going to be very difficult to see these unless it's really dark outside. Just so you know. And that's just what we have to live with, I guess. So, there you have it. Jerry's instrument cluster refurbished, needles repainted, clock repaired, um, circuit board repaired, LEDs installed. This thing is going to look sweet in his car. So, if you liked this video, hit like. If you didn't like it, hit dislike. And if you want to see more, like the stereo I'm about ready to repair, uh, hit subscribe. And uh, until next time, have a good day.